Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import and stack images like this in Photoshop. The process is simple and offers some options in a way that you can dictate exactly how the arrangement of these images are. And you can also import these images along with a text layer that has the name of each of these sticker files. After that, I'm going to show you how you can create a sheet like this for the purpose of using it as an alpha opacity mask in Arnold in Maya. Okay, so here are the images that I want to import. I am going to click here with the left mouse button and then control C to copy that directory. I'm going to go to Photoshop and then go to file, automate, and then contact sheet two. Here I am going to click on choose and then control V. And in this process here, I'm actually selecting a folder. So you're not going to be able to see any files. So hit OK. If you want to go and specifically select certain files, you can go instead of folder, you can go to files. And in that case, let's say for instance, you only want these images, for instance, then in that case, you would go to the file option instead of folder. But if for this demonstration, I'm going to go with folder. So this is the most important. So this is the this feature here is the most important one, unless you... All right, down here we see, down here you have these options. This is the most important one. If you don't have this unchecked, then these images that you're going to stack are going to be merged with the background and you don't want that. Instead, you want them with opacity in the background. So I'm gonna keep that unchecked. Then in terms of the document dimensions. This is something where you can sub to the project that you're working on. And also you can even change the bit depth if you want to. But for this demonstration for decals, eight bits would be fine. Next, I am going to go here to this option. This is going to dictate if you want the order to be, for instance, when you go cross first, that means it's going to go this way, like first image, second image, third image. But if you go click down first, then in that case, it's going to go in vertical order. For my case here, it doesn't matter really. Now the column and the rows, this is something that is really useful. So let's say you have 25 images and you want to arrange them in a way that you can have them like a square, perfect square grid. Then in that case, you go five by five and it would be all even. But if you want with a different order, say for instance, two by six, then you get a dozen each, then that could be also a different approach. Use auto spacing. I don't necessarily recommend this because it gets them really tight. So instead I'm gonna go here, for instance, um, 0.1 inch is good. Even 0.2 is probably better. And you can always go back and forth. The process is really simple and relatively quick. If you don't like the result, then you can just redo it after you adjust the numbers to your liking. Rotate for best fit. I'm not going to go with this uh, because my goal is to just have them arranged randomly, but in an organized way. Okay, that's it. I'm going to hit OK. All right, so here's the result. I'm going to go down all the way and show you this thing here, the background. You can uncheck it. And this is what I was referring to when I was talking about the option here. If I have had this checked in, then all of these images would have been blended with a background like this. And then you're going to go to the process. Then you would have to go through the process of cleaning them, which you don't want to do. All right. So what I need to do now, since I need to use this as a decal sheet that I want to import into 3D, I'm going to select all of these and hit Control E to merge them. I'm going to delete the background so you can see here the way they are. It's pretty clean and neat. Now what I want to do is to make a mask based on this layout. OK, so to do so, click and hold control. You can see the mouse cursor now changing to this marquee selection tool. So you click with the left mouse and that is going to create that selection based on the pixel information in this image to the finest details. And now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to hit control backspace and then hit control shift I to invert the selection. 
and then Alt Backspace. Control D. And now I have this sheet to use as a mask in Maya using Arnold. Now in the case that you want to have the opposite of this mask, you can simply just select the layer that you want and then Control I to invert the colors. And lastly, I want to say that if you want to import these images along with a text layer of their names, you would go to File, Automate, Contact Sheet 2, and then you would click on this option here. So I'll demonstrate quickly here. All right, there you go.